In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can enroll in Google Authenticator. Now, first a little bit about multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA as it is more commonly known, combines two or more independent sets of credentials. What the user knows, such as a password, what the user has, such as a security token, or what the user is, such as biometric verification. Now, the goal of MFA is to create an additional line of defense to make it more difficult for an unauthorized person to access your company's resources. Now, if your company has set up MFA and has chosen Google Authenticator as a required factor, you're going to be prompted to enroll in this factor the next time you log in. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Once you're on the Okta login page, go ahead and enter your username and password and then click sign in. Now, you should see a prompt to enroll in Google Authenticator. Click either set up or configure factor to proceed. Next, you're going to go ahead and select the device that you have. Now, for this particular demonstration, we're going to assume that you have an iPhone, and we're going to configure it by selecting the Apple icon. Now, if you have an Android mobile device, you're going to select the Android icon, and if you have a Windows mobile device, you're going to select the Windows icon. Now, you will be prompted to download Google Authenticator from the App Store onto your mobile device. If you have an Android device, you're going to be instructed to download Google Authenticator from the Play Store onto your mobile device. And if you have a Windows device, you're going to be instructed to download Google Authenticator from the Windows Store. Now, whatever device you're using, you want to make sure that you're running the latest version of the operating system. Now, for this demonstration, as I mentioned, we're going to be using the Apple device. So I'm going to go ahead and open the App Store. Now, whatever device you're using, you want to ensure that you're running the latest version of the operating system. Now, as I mentioned, we're using an Apple device, so we're going to look for the App Store. To find the App Store, you're going to go to your home screen, and you're going to look for a blue icon with a white letter A. You're going to click on that icon, and it'll take you to the home screen of the App Store. On the lower right side of the screen, you're going to see a grayed out magnifying glass icon with the word search. Go ahead and click that and then look for a gray bar and you're going to type the word Google Authenticator. You should see it come up in the list and once it does just go ahead and click on it. Now you're going to go ahead and find the, the Google Authenticator app and you're either going to click get if it's available or you can go ahead and click the little cloud with the down arrow. Once the app finishes downloading, you can open it directly from within the app store by tapping open where the get button was previously. You can also open the app at any time by tapping this icon on one of your iPhone screens. Click begin setup at the bottom of the screen. Then you're going to choose the option to scan the barcode. Now, you may receive a message that reads, Authenticator would like to access your camera. If so, go ahead and click OK. Make sure that you've clicked the Next button on your computer. You will now use your phone to scan the barcode. Once you've successfully scanned the barcode, you should see your account appear as well as a six-digit code that changes every 30 seconds. Click Next. You're now going to be prompted to enter the six-digit code that you see in Google Authenticator app. Then click Verify. You will now be redirected to the Setup Multi-Factor Authentication page. You should see a green check mark next to the Google Authenticator Enrolled Factor. Then click Finish. Your enrollment in Google Authenticator is now complete and you'll be logged in to Okta. Now, you may be asked to choose a forgotten password question if this is your first time logging into Okta. Now, I'm going to show you how to authenticate using Google Authenticator. Now, the next time you log into Okta, you may be prompted for MFA. 
Similar to how you enter the six-digit one-time password when you enrolled, you're going to be asked to enter a Google Authenticator password. Once you get that code, click Verify, and you'll be logged into Okta.